To migrate data from our previous machine, Mac, let's do these steps on our old Mac first and then proceed. Hey Siri, search for startup disk in system preferences. So select the target disk mode and that should put our Mac in the target disk mode so it'll do it all by itself it'll reboot and uh, we don't have to mess with the command T or any other options which is pretty straightforward so I did buy a Thunderbolt 3 cable on Amazon I used the warehouse deals for 50% off on a USB 3 cable which worked fine um, so I did connect both the Macs with the Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's an Apple branded uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable, it's two feet. And uh, on your new Mac, uh, do the initial configuration steps. Just hit next and you have to authenticate your user and you can get started uh, with the actual migration. So as you start transferring your information, it will uh, the speeds vary from 20, 30 megabytes per second to peak speeds of uh, 220 megabytes per second that I have seen with my Mac. I don't know it depend if it depends on uh, the number of files, that the types of files, but there were about three and a half to four million files um, in total that need to be transferred. So just like Tesla supercharger uh, towards uh, the the last quarter it was taking a lot longer to transfer files over so in all in all it took about an hour 10 minutes uh, to complete the migration which it very typically takes three hours or so with the Wi-Fi peer-to-peer -peer. so that's a lot of time saved and uh, thanks to Thunderbolt it works enjoy enjoy your new Mac and uh, have fun <laughs>